name is Elizabeth and I'm from Rocky Creek Valley Farm. Uh, we have 40 acres of paradise here. We uh, have been here nine years and when we first purchased it, it was an abandoned, neglected uh, farm and so we had our work cut out for us. One of the things that helped us get going was the SARE grant and uh, we had six um, 30 by 70 uh, garden plots and the first couple of years that we planted we were inundated with squash bugs and all kinds of pests that just destroyed our crops mostly the cucurbit crop so when um, the idea for the SARE grant came along and my husband thought, you know, I think this might work for us. So he can build anything in the world. All I have to do is ask and he builds it for me. But he built uh, chicken tractors and we designated uh, plots of ground to um, put the cucurbits on and we were off. So we took the chicken tractors and uh, they had wheels on them and we wheeled them out to the designated, six designated, well four designated spots in the garden and then we, we switched them so the, the two tractors would be on those six places on a rotational basis. And every morning I would catch four to six chickens and put them in the chicken tractors and then every evening I would round up the chickens and put them back in the chicken coop. The idea is to put a trap crop or a bait for pests a good distance away from your main crop that you don't want the bugs on. So we began uh, weeks before planting um, uh, blue hubbard squash and a red curry squash and I just had hundreds of them in our little greenhouse and so you put those bait crops in the ground a good two weeks before you plant your main crop so that the bugs are kind of thinking about going out there and they don't know what you're going to be doing in your main crop area. And so you plant uh, four to six um, squash in your bait crop area and then you bring the chicken tractor out and put over that and put the chickens in there. And the idea is that when the bugs come to those bait, to the bait, the chickens will catch and eat the bugs and the grubs and any stage that the bug happens to be in. It worked very, very well. The, uh, the um, chickens eventually in, in a week or two will destroy your bait crop. Thus, that's why we were growing hundreds of squash plants so that we could replace them every two weeks. So we did that and we did that all summer long and we counted bugs. I never thought I'd be out counting bugs. That was quite a, quite a thing. We had little magnifying glasses counting the bugs, but uh, it really did work. Uh, the bugs would, would come out to the bait crops and the chickens would eat the bugs. I did have a few uh, detrimental bugs on my regular crops, but nothing like we had had in the past. It actually just worked like a charm. In addition to that, uh, we took a probably, I'm going to say three to four foot wide track around the entire garden area and planted that with plants uh, to attract beneficial bugs. And it really worked. We never had one good ladybug on this farm until we did that. So we planted um, barley and uh, buckwheat and millet. Those are the three primary crops. And I think we put a little bit of sorghum in there. But it just, that couldn't have worked any better because all summer long we just, you know, would look at them and count the bugs on them and notice what we had on our other crops. And it just, it just absolutely worked like a charm. So we're all for the trap crop um, idea and the beneficial insect idea.